Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Just got some late breaking news here on October the 6th. Um, looks like at the end of the business day today, our friends at Royal Caribbean have joined the party. Welcome to the party, pal. They are now telling us that they too are canceling all of their cruises till the end of November. Thank you, everybody, for a quick uh, joining me for this quick update here on Traveling with Bruce. Thanks for following my videos. Thank you for subscribing to this channel, giving these video updates thumbs ups, and sending me comments. And also, thank you for joining me on my Facebook group page. And those of you who are uh, catching up with us here, uh, we have a store, a Redbubble store, the link down below where you can pick up some TWB swag and other items. Every item that sells on that store, a little royalty comes to yours truly, keeps us going. Thank you. And Monday night, 7 o'clock, if you're a sponsor member of this channel, just hit that join button right there. 33 cents a day. You can join me live Monday night, 7 o'clock Eastern time, just for sponsor members. And then at 8 o'clock, we go live for the big cruise ship news show. Now, Royal Caribbean. Finally, they've joined in with everyone else. Carnival last week, they canceled all their cruises except for cruises out of uh, Miami and Port Canaveral. Um, now, uh, we've had just in the last 24 hours, Norwegian canceled their cruises out of uh, uh, everywhere, including their, uh, their Region 7 Seas line and their Oceania line. Now Royal Caribbean is joining in with Azamara and Silver Sea. They are canceling their uh, cruises for all of November. The earliest they'll start sailing now will be in December, but even then, only a limited number of ships will actually be uh, uh, deployed to start the deal off. It takes about 60 days to get a typical cruise ship back into service after you've been out of service as long as these ships have. Um, if you watched my video earlier today, you know that uh, since basically March of 2020, some seven months ago, we have not had paying passengers on cruise ships uh, for the most part. And uh, Royal Caribbean and, and their other lines, they too have not had any paying passengers. So they've now got to round up their uh, crew people, their specialists, their top end technicians, the folks that can run the water systems, the electric systems, um, all of their entertainers have to be contacted, all their costume people, their musicians, the bartenders, the waiters, the service. Uh, we are talking about a global effort to attempt to get crew back to these cruise ships so that they can look after us and spoil us rotten this takes 60 days and so uh, even though it's uh, october the 6th i really don't see more than two or three ships that'll be ready to sail in the first two weeks of december i i would be surprised if they have more than two or three ready I can see, though, that every couple of weeks, uh, every month or so, a Royal Caribbean will add three or four more ships to the fleet and start resailing, uh, but it is going to take quite some time. The other mystery that we have here, the so-called, uh, you know, $64,000 question, what happens if cruising starts in uh, early December and by the end of December and into January, there are all kinds of people coming down with the virus uh, that have been on cruise ships for all these cruise lines. Will everything be reshut all over again? What about the election in the United States? That's another one. November the 3rd, the election is had. Um, the administration changes in the first week of January, let's say. What happens? Does the uh, Do the new administration officials already indicate to anyone that'll listen? that as soon as the new president is sworn in, there will be dramatic changes to cruise ship itineraries. In other words, they might be canceled. There's a lot of uncertainty out there. Um, I just don't know how this is going to go down. We will, of course, follow the story as we always do. Thank you, everyone, for following my channel. The subscribers, uh, new subscribers, welcome aboard. 60,100 now. And thumbs ups and comments. Thank you, everybody. We'll ch keep on top of the story and we'll talk to you all next time. In the meantime, stay safe and remember to social distance out there. Bye for now.